very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's indeed a great honor and privilege to be present in a function in which one of the most inspiring lady of our times, Mrs. Subhasini Basan, and her organization are being honored. Ladies and gentlemen, all those who know Mrs. Subhasini Basan and her fighting spirit will definitely agree with me that I think Rotary Club has done its homework pretty well. They couldn't have found a better person than Mrs. Subhasini Basan for this recognition and this award. And I dare say that though she belongs to Karnataka, but now she belongs to the whole country. Only two things came in my mind. The first, the world is very small and the time flies really very fast. Just a few years back, in 1994, I had a good fortune of serving with Colonel Basan in Gandhi Nagar Station, Gujarat. Way back in 1994, I was posted in the Brigade Headquarters as a DQ, I was a Major, and he was a young energetic captain who had just moved in along with his Fulton. Nine Marathas. I do remember because I had very dear friends in the Army. One of them is a senior journalist serving with the armed forces. Yes, Brigade being a very small station in Gandhi Nagar, we must have interacted many times, formally and informally. But I try to recollect all those stories later when I hear suddenly in 2007, 31st July date, I do remember to be exact, that the commanding officer of nine Marathas has laid down his life in the line of duty. And I was shocked. I was trying to recollect our meetings. When did we meet and what happened? Because the unit, I had a very close bond, having served twice to the same unit. So, and here was this commanding officer, all those who have got a bit of knowledge of the army officer. A commanding officer is a big man. He has nearly a thousand people under his command. 15 to 20 officers always at his beck and call, who gets in intelligence input in the night. And he plans an operation in the night itself. And in the morning leads that a uh, fire and destroy mission, or you can call it a raid, in the earlier hours of the morning of 31st July. He himself leads. This proves the inspiring leadership. I think the leadership of the highest order. And in the operation, he kills one militant, gets injured, and kills two more. And his unit in this operation kills eight militants in the Uri sector, which is one of the most difficult sectors of ZNK. So Indian Army is what today is just because of its armed forces officer, it's because of the CEOs like Colonel Watson will go by. Ladies and gentlemen, that was not enough. And the very next day, when I see the TV, I can't forget that day. And I see Sukhasini Vasant on the TV and Arna Goswami interviewing her. And the way this lady spoke that day, I think she inspired the whole country. He was a true fighter, and I'm extremely proud of him, and I'm so glad I got to be a part of his life. I was, I am honestly confiding with you, I was in tears, I broke down. I remember that while watching her interview, I broke down, I can't forget. And what a good luck I have. One day she landed up in my house because of some military interaction and I couldn't believe, I took time to recognize her. But this was the same lady. And inshallah, thereafter, a couple of minor uh, steps we had also taken along with Tutsi her, we could also contribute a little bit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, she is an iron lady, the kind of leadership she has given, everybody may go through. 
achievements, I think it was well read out, but only two, three things I would say about her. You saw the person in the foundation, it is doing the human service and inshallah in the days to come it is only going to grow. Seeing is an accomplished Bharatanatyam Dastar dancer. I had a good fortune of seeing this happen and see the fighting spirit. She could locate Vajinti Mala Bali as her guru and got trained, took pains to go to Madras many times. And again, whatever she is learning and passing it back to the society, teaching the people, the children in the similar art. She has co authored book called Forever Potty. What a wonderful name of the book. She has been awarded Nita Bharat Award. She has been a leading speaker in many forums. Amazing Indian, I saw that and a number of TED Talks and many other such forums she has been participating. I think the list is an end. Ladies and gentlemen, I am confident the way she is moving selflessly in this path. We will mark my words, we will see a biotech made on her life, we will see a movie on her life. Someday the day is not far. Because the journey has just begun. And I can assure you much more, knowing her little bit, much more is going to unfold in the days to come.